What's up guys, welcome back to What's Popping and in today's video we're going to be checking out my entire pork collection. So let's get to it. Here we have the regular size Funko Pops that I have that all include porgs. So we have the, the, first of all we have the common porg. And these guys all come on these nifty little Star Wars stands but they do come off and you can see here he he stands quite nicely on his own as well which is a nice feature. So this is the common porg. Um, really beautifully done little figures these. Uh, you can see they've done his wings quite nicely, his tail, he's got all the texture going on there. And the feathers are really well done, the detail there is really really well, they've paid a lot of attention to the detail which you really appreciate and you can see he's got little, um, this, this little section is a little bit raised to show that that's a bit of hair that pops out and is uh, almost like a little moustache for them and of course those big eyes, you can't really avoid the cuteness of those big eyes so here's the common pork there is also the chase version which we have here now this is a one in six chase so that for every six they make, you get one of one one chase, and he's got the same body sculpt as the as the uh, pork I just as the common pork, um, but you can see he's got his mouth open and he doesn't have the same orange on the top of his head here. But another really nicely done pork and a really cool addition to the collection, and I think Funko saw how well they were doing with these porgs and they decided they couldn't stop there, so they also brought out one of the more recent ones is the sad pork. I've just got him still on his stand there. But there he is looking up at uh, looking up at Chewy while one of his friends is being eaten. That's a bit of a heartbreaking moment in the movie, but uh, yeah, I think it's it's part of the sort of journey between the porgs and Chewy and how they become friends. So here he is looking up. His wings are a little bit further out uh, compared to the other the the chase and the common porg. Um, but they've done just as well with the detail on him. It's really beautifully done. Um, really intricate work they've done in the feathers which uh, is, is something that I think we already appreciate from Funko, especially in their, their newer pops. We know with, with some of the older pops that the detail was a bit lacking, but you can't accuse Funko of missing out on any details with their newer Funkos. So this pop here I managed to pick up at a store called Fancentric in Pretoria, and this is actually the Target exclusive Porg. And there he is with his wings out, he's ready to take flight, his tail pointing out, and he's just about ready to take off. So again, they've really done nicely with the wings here, with the feathers, the detail is just exquisite, and just lovely pork. Absolutely love all these little guys. Then the last pork that we have in the in the smaller pops is Chewy holding a pork. And you can see they've even done the detail on that little pork he's holding quite nicely. As you can see with Chewy, he's a bobblehead, uh, so with a licensing issue, all of the Star Wars Funko Pops need to be bobbleheads. And you can see as well the, the really nicely done detail on Chewie's belt uh, that he sort of wears around his shoulder with his little satchel and all of his fur. And he looks like an angry little um, corgi. So there's Chewie. And we also have, uh, in a similar pose, I did open a box or a whole crate of mystery minis. Uh, and you can check that video out right here. I'll put it there for you to see. So here we have... Uh, f uh, the Funko Mystery Mini of Chewie holding the baby pork. I actually prefer the way they've done this pork that he's holding compared to the other one, the pop that he's holding. I just think they've done the detail a bit better and the, they've got a bit more texture out of it with the feathers on the front. So you can see him standing there. And then one of the best pieces in my collection, I have to say, got this from a South African collector. So, Saki van Aval, I need to say thanks to you for helping me out with getting this one. It's another Target exclusive, and it is the 10-inch Porg. And he is absolutely awesome. So, you can see him here, he's got uh, also a Star Wars stand. He doesn't come off the stand, which isn't too bad. He's got a really nice bobble on his head. And you can see him here on a bit of a 360. Let me just move the camera up here, we can get his head in. And you can see him here on a bit of a... 360. As with all the other ones, they've just done him exquisitely well. He's got a little stand at the bottom here, you can see, just to, let me lift that so you can see, this little stand at the bottom, just to support him as he stands. And just a beautifully done pop. I absolutely adore these porgs. I do have one other 10 inch pop in my collection, that is the 10 inch Niffler. I will leave a card right here for you to check that out as well. So if you missed that video, please go back and check it out. And that does it for the Porgs in the collection. 
That does it for today's video guys, thanks so much for stopping by. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that notifications bell so you guys don't miss out on any upcoming videos. At the end of this video now, I'd just like to give a shout out to a friend of mine in the YouTube community, Aran the Paparazzi. I will leave a link to her channel in the description down below, so go check her out. She has some pretty cool videos and an awesome Harry Potter collection. So Aran, all the best, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.